Hydropower is energy from moving water. Stagnant water that stands in ponds, sloughs and swamps will not produce hydroelectric power. However, water that falls from a higher position to a lower position, such as a waterfall, will produce hydroelectric power. Waterfall examples are Angel Falls, Venezuela, Hoover Dam on the border with Arizona and Nevada, Niagara Falls in New York State and Ontario, Canada, and Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. To produce electricity and green eco-energy, electric companies must construct turbines. Turbines can increase or decrease electricity generation by increasing or decreasing the amount of moving water that they intake. Essentially, this is converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. You are likely more familiar with Hoover Dam and Niagara Falls. Hoover Dam is a man-made construction, whereas Niagara Falls is natural. Hoover Dam's original name was Boulder Dam. The water that generates hydroelectric power comes from the Colorado River. Construction workers completed this dam in 1935. At this time, though, workers had not built the powerhouse. Hoover Dam's construction required several hundred thousand tons of concrete and cost the lives of 112 workers. Faulty ventilation and exhaust tunnels was the cause of many deaths. In addition, high temperatures in these same tunnels contributed to the fatalities. Hoover Dam's average electricity generation is 4.2 TWh per year. In 1940, the Hoover Dam produced its minimum electricity, 2.648 TWh. In 1984, the Hoover Dam produces electricity maximum, 10.348 TWh. This is a lot of electricity. If you were the last person on Earth and this dam was still functional, you could run many air conditioners non-stop for many years, perhaps several lifetimes. Arizona, California and Nevada receive the benefits of the Hoover Dam's electricity production. Arizona receives 18.95%. California receives 42.32% and Nevada receives 23.37%. Niagara Falls has a volume of 150,000 US gallons per second. Actually though, Niagara Falls consists of two falls, American Falls and Horseshoe Falls. American Falls gets only 10% of the flow volume, Horseshoe Falls gets the other 90%. Using two power plants, the American Falls can generate a maximum of 2.7 million kilowatts of electricity. The Horseshoe Falls, which has three power plants, can generate a maximum of 2.2 million kilowatts of electricity. Niagara is a more popular tourist attraction than the Hoover Dam. This fact is understandable, because the northeast of the United States has a denser population than the southeast. You can drive and or walk along the top of the Hoover Dam, but you will need to ride in boats at Niagara Falls.